Now we are going to try to simulate uh, chemical scarification in pepper seeds. Pepper seeds are kind of notoriously difficult to germinate sometimes, and so sometimes they benefit from a simulation of digestion. Um, the fruit of a pepper evolved to be eaten, to be dispersed, and so it would make sense that seeds would need to be resistant to passing through a digestive tract of an animal um, to be able to germinate later. So we're gonna use this um, sweet, Nardello pepper. Uh, and we have three different treatments here. This first one is hot, but not like scalding hot water. You want it to be cool enough that it's not gonna cook the pepper seeds, but hot enough that it's gonna be pretty warm in temperature. Uh, we're gonna use regular distilled white vinegar. It's a 5% distilled white vinegar, pretty typical for what you would use for pickling. And then we're gonna use um, some English tea, just regular old black tea that you steep, no sugar or milk, just, the straight tea bag. Um, and I have not checked the pH on all three of these. That would be a good factor to include if you were gonna do that with a pH test strip or something. And we're gonna let our pepper seeds soak in them for about 24 hours. Here's what our pepper seeds look like. You guys are probably pretty familiar with what pepper seeds look like. They look just like the stuff on the inside of a pepper. Now, if you are to like just start the seeds from inside of the pepper, they might not, uh, they might be a hybrid, so they might not breed true to seed. So if you're you're tasting a pepper that you bought at the market and you really wanted to save that seed, it might not be the same thing that grows uh, that you ate. Uh, also, sometimes they harvest them a little immature so that they won't bruise in the, in the shipping process. And so um, the seeds might not be fully developed yet. So I started this yesterday and we let it run for 24 hours. And now we're gonna take it out of these solutions. Let's see, there we go. And we are just going to move it to a damp paper towel in a baggie. So we'll just pop them open and we don't really need any of the liquid. We just want the seeds. Let's see. I probably should have brought a spoon for this. Oh, I think I have one. Here we go, okay. So here we go. This is our hot water solution and we're just gonna pull those seeds out. Actually, this would work better if I poured it off or something, huh? Okay, so I will pour these off and put them in a paper towel, but I just, I'll grab a few so that you can observe what they look like here. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna drink what's in this teacup, so I'm just gonna pour it in there. I just use little like solo cups for these. It's okay if there's a little bit of uh, moisture on them still, it's not gonna matter terribly much. I'm just gonna turn them over and tap them out. Spoon came in handy after all. Okay, just get all that out of there. Now these seeds, uh, we can compare them. Maybe I'll pull one of each out to compare to the ones in the bag. They definitely look like they've swollen a little bit more. They've gotten a little bit bigger. So that means that they've been taking in some of that liquid at least, and hopefully dissolving some of that seed coat with that hot water. We'll see. We're gonna leave them in this baggie. A lot of times I start my pepper seeds in my hardiness zone inside. I'm 9B, uh, inside in like February, so that when my night temperatures start getting warm enough in May, middle of May, then I can put them out. Okay, so here's what they look like on that. And we will fold this up and label it. I didn't plan that well. Okay, make sure I unfold the paper towel for the next one. Got it. Oops. No seeds left behind. Okay, there we go. Now we're all in. Tuck it all in. And we're going to label a baggie. Ziploc baggie. And we're gonna put this in like a sunny, warm location. They do still like heat to germinate in general. You don't, we don't want it to dry out, but we can just add a little moisture to the baggie if we need to. 
All right, and so that is our water treatment. Let's take a look at the vinegar treatment and see how it looks. Sharpie. I have a Sharpie here somewhere for labeling things. There we go. All right, so this is pepper seeds. The day we started it was May 10th. That's yesterday, but um, I remember I soaked these for 24 hours, so that's what we'll have for our date there. And this is water. We'll call it hot water because that's what it was. Okay, there we go. There's our first bag done. Now let's check the vinegar one. And this time we're going to open up the paper towel first. See, just all these learning opportunities, right? Wonderful. There we go. Now I'm going to pour off the vinegar. Again, I have no intention of drinking this tea, so it doesn't matter that vinegar is going to go in there. <laughs> Don't lose any. That would be bad. Okay, there we go. And these also, whoops, these also look like they're swollen a bit. I have too much stuff going on in the background. Anyways, so they're definitely swollen. I'll take a picture and put it on the on the PowerPoint presentation so that you guys can see what they look like. And um, the rest of them here. And we'll kind of separate them out so that they're nice and even. And then I will check on these. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep an eye on them for moisture level once a day anyways. But I don't really expect to start seeing radicals out of these for maybe seven days. Usually peppers can be pretty long to germinate in general, even with a uh, chemical treatment. I've heard of people using coffee. Sometimes people will use gibberellic acid, which we used on Lady Lupin last week. Okay, there we go. Some people use sulfuric acid, like if you're doing this commercially and you want to ensure that you get a lot better success, then you would want to use like sulfuric acid. It really, they really need that digestion simulation to germinate. So we're really hoping that the pH we've chosen for each of these is um, going to be adequate. Here we go. And then we need to label our bag. Regular zip lock. Okay. Pepper. Uh, you know what? We should put that it's an Ardello. I have so many peppers started that if I just write pepper on it, like I'll kind of remember because it's for your experiment, but I probably won't keep it straight from the other ones. Vinegar. Okay. And then this date is 10 May. Okay. Very good. Number two. Third treatment was a 24 hour tea soak in regular black tea. Sometimes this will stain the seeds, but not always. Okay, lids off. Let's open up our paper towel. There we go. Sip up. Now we'll pour off the tea and keep the seeds. Yeah, they definitely look like they've stained a little bit from the tea. We see a little different coloration there than we saw in the others. And these also look swollen compared to dry seeds. So it looks like something happened in 24 hours anyway. Now we'll... Uh, wait a little more than a week and we'll see what comes out of them. All right. There we go. And here. Oops. Come off. Thank you. Here. And All right, whoops. So here we go. Now we have our um, tea stained ones and we will fold those up 
and put them in a sunny windowsill. All right, that's pretty much it for these pepper seeds. Um, it's fun to grow peppers. We like to grow peppers. There's a lot of different kinds of peppers. You can graft peppers the same way that we did the tomatoes. That's kind of interesting. Pepper. They need some like warmer night temperatures for them to be able to, black tea, um, set fruit. And the people over at UC Davis that do pepper breeding use an electric toothbrush to pollinate them. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. 10 May 21. Okay, there we have it. Our three treatments, black tea, vinegar, hot water, for seed starting of peppers.